Hello everyone, welcome back to another Premiere Pro tutorial. This one gonna show you how to do the flip effect or the upside down effect. What have I got here? I've got the same guy walking one way and then I flipped him upside down and I blended it together and it looks like they're in uh, one guy's walking and the other guy's upside down doing the same thing. How did I do it? Nice and easy. Let's just start from scratch. Here we go. First step, grab your footage. I'm gonna use this footage right here. Drag and drop it into your timeline, nice and easy. Now, grab the second piece of footage. It can be the same footage or it can be another piece of footage if you wanted to blend in, like let's say a guy walking on a beach instead. But I'm gonna use the same footage because the effect is the same. Drag and drop it, drop it on top of the original footage, okay? So they're both, it's basically two layers. The two are the same stacked on top of each other. Click on the top one, go to your effect controls panel, and now change the, pos the rotation from zero to 180 degrees. That flips the original video upside down. So we've now basically got the regular and then the upside down directly on top of each other. All right, good stuff. The next step is we're gonna draw a mask. Now I'm gonna go to the effect controls panel, go to the opacity, click on that little pen right there. And the mask that I'm gonna draw, I'm just gonna draw it basically like a 50-50 mask, but you could do it any way you want to. But I'm just gonna show you nice and simple. Okay, draw that mask, and when you do that, you're gonna see that they're now stacked on top of each other. But when I click out, it, there's this hard line in between, although it's not too bad in this case, but it's a little bit hard. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna to go to the top piece of footage. On the mask, there's mask feather. It's default set to about 10, per, 10 pixels or 10. I'm gonna go ahead and just increase it so that they sort of blend together a little better. So I'm gonna increase it to about, let's go with 70 for the heck of it. Now click out, I'm gonna click out here, I'm gonna hit space bar, and now they're pretty much on top of each other, although their heads are a little bit touching. So if I wanted to, I could move this one down or up like this. I'm just gonna move it up and I'm just gonna go ahead and separate it like that. So that was just the that was just the top piece of footage. I double clicked on the panel there and then I'm just moving it up so that they're not quite touching. And presto, we've got a flipped effect. That's all there is to it, guys. Thanks for watching. Tell more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.